Right, um, we're in the bath, uh, this little doggy here. Um, quite often, some dogs be prescribed a medicated shampoo, so we're going to talk about how, how we go about bathing our dog properly if that occasion occurs. So, obviously, make sure the water's not too hot. All the way through the fur. Then get the, um, the shampoo that you've been suggested to use. It's often really useful to put some of it into a, into a cup or a, a jug like this and, and water it down instead of putting it on neeks. Um, it will lather up a lot, lot easier. Okay, so just pour that all over the dog. Work it well into the fur. Okay, so work it right into the skin. Right in like this. Okay, now often um, they'll have contact times, which means you need to leave um, the shampoo on for a certain period of time before you actually rinse it off. Okay, so we're obviously not going to do that because that's going to be a very boring video if we did that. <laughs> so once all the shampoo has been rubbed in and left, then you just need to um, rinse it off. So again, just pop the shampoo, the shower on again. Work it into the dog, probably ahead of your hand and squeegee in as you go. Okay. Put quite a lot of lard on this. Yeah, so make sure that you've got it all out before you actually um, dry the dog. Um, you can leave it rather greasy. If you're bathing your dog just um, because it's not on medication or anything, you just want to bath, you can do that, you know, occasionally. Um, it doesn't need to be done ridiculously often if you can't upset the, the oils and the, the natural oils of the coat. Um, so you can do it maybe once a month or so, or in the dog's case, just when they're grubby and dirty. Um, in all cases, just make sure that you do rinse out all of the shampoo as well before you uh, Dry them. Okay. I think we're all messed up, aren't we? Lovely. Okay, so she's been very good and not shaking. Okay, just squeeze them down. And this bit should be a fairly obvious procedure. Just rub them as dry as you can. Now, a lot of um, medicated shampoos, at least, prefer the dog to just. Um, Dry naturally, so you just want to take the worst of the um, worst of the, the dampness off and just leave the dog to dry. Uh, if it, again, just for for a hygiene thing, um, you can dry them really well, and uh, maybe some dogs will even let you use the hair dryer.